So we also added side chaining, which is uh, pretty handy for, um, you know, when, you, when you've got like a bass line and a kick competing against each other, you would compress according to one of the instruments. Um, so what I have going on here is a kick. Alright, so I have this compressor here. I'm side-chaining the audio of the kick into the bass line. Drops. You can see that the bass is actually getting um, the compression signal from the kick drum there. So that uh, that allows you to you know save some of that energy in the low end. Um, you could also where are you keeping that? Where are you keeping that compressor at in the? Uh, What's that? Where are you keeping it at? Are you, are you applying it to one of the tracks or? I'm and then applying it to the bass track. Okay. The compressor is. But the actual um, DS or the actual. Squashing is happening from the kick, like the kick is the sort of carrier for the uh, for the signal. So cool. That's how that works. What about ATC, real quick? Let's let's look at this. Yeah. I don't even know what it does. I just I saw a write up on it, and we were trying to determine what it was. One guy postulated that it was almost like a magnifying glass, and we came up with all sorts of bizarre ideas of what it might be. So let's just see what it is, real quick. ACT is a, uh, an easy way to use um, pretty much any type of controller to control uh, things like you know, volume sliders, pan sliders, uh, uh, synthesizers, effects, and stuff like that. It's just really easy to use, um, really easy to configure. Let's try a synth. All right. So now this knob is controlling this pan. Okay, so you hit the ACT and then the axe, and then you move whatever knob you want to exactly. apply and you click on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. It's a quick and dirty way to, you know, map the things out that you want. Great, well, thank you so much, Shanda. We'll be back with more from AES 2007 in New York City. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com.